May the 4th be Cinco de Mayo. Didn't know what to make for May the 4th be with you. And seeing Cinco de Mayo is the next day. We're going to do Mexican today. I'm doing Mexican. Today's beer review. Modelo Negro. Comes in this fancy bottle with the foil on it. Cold glass, a little lime. Like most Mexican beers, it is pretty, pretty refreshing. A little malty, a little more malty than most Mexican beers, but... Oh yeah, you can drink five, six, cinco, seis, siete, ocho of those. Modelo Negro. All right, let's cook. All right, so today we're doing my version of Mexican. Again, not a chef. Been to Mexico a couple times. Don't remember most of that, but so what? I don't think we had Mexican food any of the times we were down there, now that I think of it. Went to Mexico and had hibachi. Weird. All right, anyway, we're gonna do full pork tacos, black beans, yellow rice, Yellow rice is the pre-bagged one, but you just follow the directions. I'm not going to show you the rice. My black beans are bomb, and I'm going to do like a pulled pork street taco. We live on a street. We're making tacos. All right. Chili powder, cumin, salt, pepper, garlic, juice from the lime, green enchilada sauce. This is going to be super simple. We're going to put all these ingredients on the pork. We're going to roll the pork up in the foil. We're going to throw the pork in the oven, 300 degrees, for like three hours. Pull it out and we'll shred that bad boy. That will be the main ingredient for our tacos. Don't be afraid to season. Don't be afraid of flavor. This is a pork, boneless pork shoulder. Pork butt works just as well. I actually prefer pork butt. But we are in the quarantine kitchen and there wasn't any pork butt yesterday. We improvised, we overcame, we adapted. So we're going to let that go for like three hours. Um, then we can either throw it on the grill, try to get a little crisp on the outside, or just shred it right from there. All right, then for the tacos, got the pork. We're going to make a really fresh mango salsa to go on top of that. Uh, avocado, fresh mango. Look at this mango. My mango. Beauty. Uh, Roma tomatoes, a little bit of jalapeno, fresh cilantro, olive oil, garlic powder. Salt, pepper, and a lime. I think we'll get a lime. But, uh, alright, let's cook. Alright, so I forgot the white onion, but we did, we added that in. About a quarter of white onion, about a quarter of that bunch of cilantro, quarter of the jalapeno, two romas, the whole mango, whole avocado. You want the avocado to be not quite ripe. You don't want it to be too hard. I mean, you don't want it to be too too soft because it won't hold up in the salsa and gets all squishy. I cross cut the avocado into the bowl. Into the bowl. So, Griff, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Empire Strikes Back, Wrong. probably. All right, that is the best one. 
And we're just going to combine all these into the bowl. Avocado in. We don't like it very spicy, so there's not a ton of avocado, um, jalapeno in there. And I took, I did take the seeds out. If you like it spicy, leave the seeds in. I'm gonna grab a spoon, a little bit of olive oil, juice from half a lime. Salt, a little bit of black pepper, and a little bit of granulated garlic. Give that a mix. And that is all she wrote. This is best if you let it sit night before or earlier in the day. Um, we're making this the same time we made the pork, so it's going to have at least three hours for those flavors to mel meld together. But nice, fresh looking mango salsa. All right, so now we're going to do the black beans. Um, pre strained beans, canned, fine. If you want to soak them overnight, the dry ones, that's good too. Uh, the rest of the cilantro that we used for the salsa. Uh, half a white onion, the rest of that jalapeno, the juice from a lime, one stick of butter, I love butter, black pepper, garlic, cumin, olive oil, salt. Olive oil in. Actually, I already turned the pan on, so it's a little hot. I'm gonna sweat the onions down. Let the onions cook down for a couple of minutes before we add in the other, before we add in the peppers and the cilantro and the spices. Um, what do you want to talk about, bro? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Well, Star Wars? Sure. Worst character. Worst character in Star Wars. Uh, Baby Yoda, right? Am I right? Baby Yoda. Well, that's highly, a, highly overrated. It's a hot take. What do you think? I'm gonna go with the safe one. He's gonna say Jar Jar Binks. Yes, terrible character. Mm. New Luke Skywalker in the new movies. Not a good character. No, like the the old no, one. Terrible, terrible. What was that? Which one was that? The, the one with the red sand. Return of the Jedi. Not Return of the Jedi. The Last Jedi. No, the, the, no. the Lewis one. That was a good. One. No, I think the Last Jedi. I don't remember the names of them. Last Jedi was the last one. That was good. The one with the, the sand. The one with the red sand. Yeah, the one where Luke was a giant wussy. Try not to swear as much. I think I could say wussy. Am I allowed to say wussy? I'd say yes. Yep. The commissioner of anti-defamation group has approved my new language. Griffin still, hasn't given, a, Griffin still hasn't given us an answer on... I just said. Still not as bad as Charger Banks. Baby Yoda, highly overrated. Mandalorian, hot garbage. I never finished it. Alright, butter in the pan. Butter in the pan. Jalapeno in the pan. Juice from half of the lime in the pan. And lime in the pan. Now we're gonna add our spices, cumin. Granulated garlic, generous amount. Black pepper. And a touch of salt. We'll let that go for another minute. We'll add the cilantro and the beans, and then we'll just let it cook down. Cilantro in. A 
beans in. Just cooked down. It'll be ready in about 25 minutes. Pork out of the oven. Look at that. It's all delicious. What a noise. <laughs> but pull that right in the tacos. Come look at the beans, the simmering. Simmering down. Getting all nice. Smells good. Smells good. Alright. And then three tacos. Beans and rice, beans and rice. Hot.